Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'll be talking about things you can do with an MP3 using free software. So what can we do? Well, we can rip MP3s from a CD, change MP3 file names and tags, normalize MP3s, make an MP3 ringtone, and change the bitrate of an MP3. And we can do all this for free using these programs. So let's get started. CDEX is a program that is used to rip mp3s from audio cds so if you've just bought an album and you want to have the, com the music tracks from that album on your computer you use cdex and this will take the tracks off your audio cd and put them on your computer so all you do is you click your drive you may only have one here it will load up a load of tracks here uh, unfortunately i don't have an audio album to show you so i'm sorry about that but it will show a list down here of the net, all your tracks you can change the artist in the album and all the details here and uh, or it will do it automatically or you have to click this saying get album information and it will try and download all your information for your CD so once that's done you click this button here and it says extract CD tracks to compressed audio files which are mp3 files and then that's pretty much done you can change the settings here you want to change if you want to change the size that it downloads of your mp3s you want to change the size that it encodes into uh, but you you can reduce the size it encodes to but it will reduce the quality that of the mp3 so if you it's usually at 128 a lot of people say well i like a lot better quality music so they up it to about 192 or even 320 and some people say i don't like having that many uh, I've got so many MP3s on my computer, I'm running out of space, I need to reduce it a bit, so you say 64 or something like that. Uh, but you'll notice the quality if you go too far down, say 48 and 32, you'll definitely notice the difference. So this is CDX or CDEX, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Okay, MP3 tag. We want to change the MP3 file name or the tag of a file. So here I have here track1.mp3 and audio blues bang bang.mp3. If I open these in Winamp, you'll notice track 1 says Prodigy One Love Here 353. So it's actually got the name of the track inside the MP3. And also with this one, Audio Buddies Bang Bang, we've got the file name that's correct here. But if we open it in Winamp, you see it just says track 1. So how can we fix these MP3s? Well, you can use something called MP3 tag. And basically, what it does is it, you can change the, the tags inside the mp3 and change them to file names and uh, vice versa there's many different things you can do with this so I'm going to change my directory to the desktop as you can see I've got three mp3s here two of the ones I'll just show you um, we're going to start with audio bullies bang bang so what we've got here is the file name here and the track that just says track one and no artist so there's a button here is it this one or this one? It's this one. So it says file name to tag. You click that and it says artist audio bullies title bang bang. And it's already done for me and it's ready to fill it in. I just press OK. Tag, tag derived from one of one files. And you notice that now the title is bang bang and the artist is audio bullies. You then press save. Save tag in one of one files. If you make a mistake, because uh, there's several arguments you can put in those percent tags, I'll show you again in a second, then there's the undo button and I think you can undo lots of things here if you need to. So the next one is the track one which was the Prodigy One Love uh, song here and you can change the tag to the file name so it's vice versa and it's saying artist and title and it says Prodigy One Love just press, you can preview it so it will show you in a text file what it's doing, exactly what it's doing, to show you what it looks like. And you just OK it, one of one file names renamed, save, save tag, one of one files, and it's done. Now, you can do this for multiple files, so if I change my directory to exa for, for example to my music, you'll notice it's loading 1855 files, and I've got all these files that I've got that are, are fine in the artists and the title, but the mp3 names are a load of poo because I like to download music from the internet. So you can do this to batch process all of these files and sort out the names, so very useful. 
and the next one we're going to go for is mp3 gain now this program is used to normalize mp3s if you don't know what that means if you picture a mp3 that's really loud if you have headphones on and you're listening for an mp3 player you've got a normal mp3 and then another one comes on and it's really really loud so you have to turn the volume down don't you and then if you picture one that's really quiet you have to turn your volume up well, what this does is it can process folders like the last thing with loads and loads of mp3s in and it can normalize the volume to make them all the same volume so we're adding a folder of the desktop here and I've already done this in the in a video which went over 10 minutes because I'm good at doing that <laughs> so here we have three mp3s and you just press track analysis it will analyze my tracks and it will say uh, one still needs clipping so um, clip I'm not sure sorry I'm not sure what clipping is but what we're concerned more about is the track gain and it's going to minus 4.5 decibels you can change the decibels here to whatever you want and it will change all the tracks to that volume I've just left it default and I don't see if there's any point in anyone changing it but if you want to have it super loud and change all your music to super loud then change that so this is mp3 game very useful piece of software if you have loud and quiet mp3s that you download from the internet or things like that okay audacity uh, you need the lame mp3 encoder with it no, it's that lame ink DLL. It, you need to get that to process what we're we're about to do. We're going to make an MP3 ringtone. So, I like that Prodigy One Love song. So I'm going to open it. MP3 ringtones you can play on your phones, and they don't last long. They're only 30 seconds. So if you want a portion of a song, I'll just take something randomly. I'm just dragging on this sound wave. All this wave is the song in two channels, left and right and I'm just going to grab 30 seconds of it, you can zoom in and you can have specific ones, so this is about 30 seconds of a file doesn't matter what it sounds like just, just for demonstration purposes, but I want this and all you do is file, export selection as mp3 and I'll call it ringtone so now it's saved it and I now have it on my desktop as an mp3 and I'll play it through Winamp and it's got exactly what I just did, 14 seconds worth and I can now put that on my phone and have it as a ringtone. What else is Audacity useful for? Well, changing the bitrate on an MP3. I have here a MP3 which is 128 kilobits uh, per second, which means it's normal, but it's 3.68 megabytes, and I consider that to be huge randomly. I want to have it smaller than that. So what you can do is you go File, Open, you open the file, which was Chicane Offshore and it imports it and what we want to do is go to edit preferences and we need to be in the file formats tab and it will say mp3 library version we need this to say lane, lane 3 if this says something like none you just click find library and this is where you get your lane mp3 codec and you find it and you put it in here then you get a choice of bitrate so again you've got the choice of up to 16 to 320, 320 being best and huge quality, 16 being crap quality but very small file size. So we're going to go for half of what it was, 64, OK, file, export as mp3, I'm going to say offshore 64, save it and eventually it will export the entire mp3 because we didn't clip out anything like on the last one it will export the entire track to 64 kilobytes per second some software like to charge you for using their software to encode things into smaller formats which I don't believe is right notice that it says 64 kilobytes 1.84 megabytes in file size whereas this one was 128 kilobytes and 3.68 so this can be useful if you have a small mp3 player with not much space you just can make all your mp3s smaller to fit on the sp uh, into the space or more mp3s on your hard drive so that's pretty much it really that's all the things you can do with mp3s with free software if you have any more then let me know write a comment uh, again please comment and rate send me a message anything you'd like to know and uh, please subscribe thank you for watching my video